Welcome. Let's practice submitting work to a Dropbox. I'm using our example learner, Wonder Woman, and we are going to enter from the portal where you start when you enter Power School Learning into one of our courses. The course list is on the left. We're going to enter this course here. Once we're on the course homepage, we're going to go to course assignments on the left sidebar to enter one of the weeks of assignments. I'm going to jump down to week 10. On all of your course weeks, you should have a weekly agenda. Our weekly agenda is listed here for week 10. It tells you what to do each day. As part of the week, you most likely have an assignment that you need to submit to a Dropbox. In this case, I'm going to scroll down the page and I'm going to see that the shape project needs to be handed in. Whenever you see this plus hand in button, that means that's something that you need to submit. It should be listed in your agenda right here on Wednesday. And then um, I'll see as I scroll down the page that I have an assignment to turn in and then I also have a discussion. So for example of how to turn in, you simply click the plus button. Once you click that button, you're going to see some choices on how to submit your work. You can write a message. This is like an email. You can submit a message where you tell, tell your uh, facilitator some information. If you have a written assignment, you could actually just type it here if you would like to submit um, a paragraph or something short. If you have a longer written assignment, I suggest that you use a word processing um, software to submit it, something like Google Docs or Word. Once you're in this screen, you will submit your work by either clicking Choose Files, so that it'll give me a list of files on my computer that I could turn in, or I could simply drag my file here. In this case, I'm going to show you an example of submitting a photo. Now, if I would like to, I could submit multiple files in the same Dropbox. You can do that at the same time. In this example, I'm submitting two images at the same time. So once they have both loaded, I can see them down here, then I click Hand In. In this case, I'm going to cancel because in addition to showing you where to submit the work, I want to show you how. So when we discuss formats, formats means the file type. Your facilitators would prefer, for the most part, that you submit your work, your written work, as either PDFs or Word documents. Most learners are using Google Docs. I'm going to show you an example of how to use Google Docs. I um, clicked over to Google Doc Assignment, and this would be an example of something I typed up. Let's say this is a long essay or you're answering questions. Um, in this example, let's push this down a little bit so you can see. Um, in my goal, let's pretend that I finished this assignment and I'm ready to submit it. Go to File, and then you're going to see these options Download As. So when you're submitting to our Dropboxes, our suggestion is that you go to File, Download As, PDF. PDF is a universally um, readable file format that's really, um, it, it retains the formatting best. So my suggestion is you use PDF. Your facilitator may specifically ask you to submit it in Word, and that option is right here. So you can choose between PDF, recommended Word, which may also be recommended. I'm going to save this file as a PDF. And here it gives me these examples. Where do I want to save it to? I'm saving it to my desktop. I like to save things on my desktop that I'm going to submit right away. So I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to go back to my window of my Dropbox. Now I have my example assignment ready to turn in. I'm going to click Hand In. And then it's on my um, desktop. I'm just going to drag it in. And there's my example PDF. Once it's loaded, then I would click Hand In. Again, I'm going to cancel as the example. Let's say you were using, instead of Google Docs, you have a Mac, which I'm using right now, and you have Pages. And you're using Pages to write your um, essay. So I'm going to go to Pages. This is my example in Pages. Same thing. Um, in order to make sure that your file is readable to your facilitator, not everyone has that Pages program again because that's um, uh, proprietary to Mac computers, we were going to save this also in a PDF. So in Pages, I'm going to go up to File. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I'm way up here. Go up here to File, 
and then I'm going to go to export to so it's very similar to what we did with Google Docs but in this case it goes to export to and then we're going to choose PDF now here I'm going to choose PDF I could also choose Word if that was suggested and then I'm going to go to the next screen and again I'm going to save it to my desk desktop I already have an example PDF so I'm going to replace that um, that was my other first example. So now I'm going to minimize my pages. I'm going to go back to the hand in button and then I would do the same thing. I would just drag or either choose file and find the file name example. Here I'm going to choose file. Example, there it is. And then I would open that and then I would see that it's loaded again. And then I would click hand in, which I'm going to scroll down so you can see that. Then I would click the hand in button if I was ready to submit. Um, you can also turn in if you have an art class or in some of your classes you need to submit photos. Maybe you did a written work on paper and you took a photograph of it. You would follow the same procedure again, hand in, then find your photo on your desktop or um, wherever you have it saved. Just drag it in or either click choose file and find that photo that you're submitting. Same thing. You can sh submit multiple files and photos together in the same Dropbox. Okay. So once you've submitted your work, how do you make sure that it was turned in? Once you've submitted your work, how do you see feedback or what your grade is? I'm going to show you examples of that. I'm going to go back to week 9. I already submitted an assignment for week 9. So week 9 looks very similar. Here's my agenda. When I go to line project, which is the assignment to be turned in, I can see that I've submitted this already because it has a green check mark instead of a hand in button. So that's a way to make sure that you turn something in is that when you go to see the hand in button, it's already um, got a green check mark. That means that I've submitted this assignment. So what about finding out what grade I got? There's a couple of ways to find out. I could go to the grades tab and I could look and see what grade I was given on that assignment. See if this doesn't take too long. All right, so when you get to your grades tab, you're going to see that there's a list of work that's submitted. I haven't done anything in this class because it's an example, but I'm looking for that assignment for week nine. This is the assignment that I turned in, pretended to turn in, and I can see here that I got an incomplete. So why did I get that incomplete? I'm going to see the feedback, which is on the far right. See that little comment bubble? If I click that, it's going to tell me what my feedback was. And in this case, I'm pretending to um, submit something that needs to be resubmitted. So if you see incomplete or a code like that instead of a grade, that usually means that your facilitator wants you to redo it. If I had seen an A or a B, I still may have feedback and it would tell me something about the grade that I got. Maybe I got a C or a D and I still have an um, invitation to resubmit it for a higher grade. So that's under the grade book. All right, so another way to check what grade, uh, or to make sure that you submitted work besides grade book, where you can read the feedback and see your grade, you can also go to the assignments list and you should see a green check mark by any assignment that you've already handed in. So in this case I'll scroll down and you can see on week 9 that that green check, bar, check mark is there because I have submitted the work. Um, if you have further questions about formats or how to submit files or if something isn't working please contact your course facilitator. But this has been your tutorial on how to submit work into your Dropboxes. Thank you. One last note I'd like to add is in your activities tab under your assignment list, you may see an alert and it'll show up as a number. This is a number one, it could be a higher number. What that's telling you is that you have a message waiting for you attached to assignment and it will be found in a different place than under the grades tab. It'll be under your assignments list. So if I see that number or an alert pop up, I'll scroll down on my assignment list and I'm going to look on this far right corner. And I'm going to look for where that message is. And in this case, it's here. So if I click on that, I'm going to be able to view the message that was sent to me from my facilitator. Just click right here and then it'll clear the message and you'll be able to see it. It's usually um, an alert.